Hello and welcome to Brain Linker. Myself Vishnu Radhan Pura. In the previous video, we have seen variables. In this video, we are going to practically apply what we have seen in the previous videos. But before starting the actual program, I would like to take a few minutes in command line argument. Command line argument is one of the ways to take input from user. You can also provide configuration to the program. When we want to run program, we have to specify command. Command is java space class name. We specify command with arguments. That's why it is called command line argument. General syntax is java space class name space first argument space second argument space nth argument. You can specify any number of arguments in this fashion. Arguments are space separated means first argument and second argument in example are two different arguments. If you want to specify single argument which contains space then you can do that by enclosing argument in double quotes as given in this example java space class name space double quotes first argument space second argument ending double quotes. Now we know how to provide command line arguments to the program but the question comes in mind how we use it in programs. We have seen an amazing function called main. Let's recall its syntax. Public static void main string arguments. In this syntax string argument is the thing we have to focus. All the arguments that you have specified in command are added as string in arguments of the main function. Now let's jump into program. Program definition says check whether the number is prime or not. Prime numbers are divisible only by itself and 1. For example, let's take 7. 7 divided by 1 gives you 7. 7 divided by 2 gives you 3.5 which is not perfectly divisible. Perfectly divisible means result of division doesn't contain fractional part. 7 divided by 3 gives you 2.33 not perfectly divisible. 7 divided by 4 gives you 1.75 not perfectly divisible. 7 divided by 5 gives you 1.4 not perfectly divisible. 7 divided by 6 gives you 1.16 not perfectly divisible. 7 divided by 7 gives you 1 perfectly divisible. As depicted in all this calculation, 7 is only perfectly divisible by 1 and 7 itself. That's why 7 is prime. Let's take 4 as another example. 4 divided by 1 gives you 4. 4 divided by 2 gives you 2. As 4 is perfectly divisible by 2. So we end our calculation at this point and we can say that 4 is not prime. This sums up all logic behind prime. Now it's time to move towards notepad plus plus and implement logic we have discussed. Let's create a class, public class. Let's name it prime. Then it's done for main method. Public static void main string arguments. Then we need to check whether command line arguments are provided or not. We can check it out by comparing length with 0. If length is greater than 0, then we can implement our logic. We need one integer variable to store user input. But user input is in strings. So we need to convert it to integer because numbers are integers. So first argument, so array index always starts with 0, so 0 is first element of the array. Then if number is 0 or number is 1, then we can say that
not prime print align is a function like print used to display messages if number is neither 0 nor 1 then for well, loop integer i is equals to 2 i less than number i plus plus then we have to check whether user input is perfectly divisible by numbers between 2 to less than number we can check it out by number modulo i is equal equals to 0 if this modulo operation returns 0 it indicates that the number is not prime so to indicate that we need one flag variable let's initialize it as false and here we set it to true after the end of for loop we can check if flag is true if flag is true then number is not prime If flag is false, then we can say that number is prime. To execute this program, we have to save this file and file name must be same as public class name and don't forget about .java extension. In order to execute this program, we have to open command prompt pointing to the directory in which this prime.java file resides. If you are using notepad++ then you have direct option to open command prompt. Then java c file name. Then java class name and argument let's check about 7 7 is prime we have discussed earlier then java prime let's check about 4 4 is not prime we also discussed about this earlier in the next video, we are going to learn arrays. Until then, this is Vishnu Radhanpura signing off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe us. Goodbye.